Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. It's been a little crazy these last couple of weeks with people going in and out of time. So today, I figured I would just kick back and mellow out, you know, just listen to some good tunes or read a good book, you know. <laughs> Whoa, I never heard that tune before. Oh, hey, handsome, what's up, dude? What's with the trumpet? <laughs> you trying to be like a, an old school messenger from like, ba oh, like a, like a page or like a, a herald? Oh, so like you're a herald. So what is your message, oh handy herald? <laughs> oh, we've got we got a delivery. Well, like what kind of delivery? Wait, oh over here. Okay. Oh, dude. Time travel alert! Time travel alert! Somebody come. We have a time travel visitor in three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. I ain't never run this far before. Where in tarnation am I? Well, you're aboard the love sub, Whoa. dude. <laughs> but the question is, who are you? Oh, my name is Harold. Let me introduce myself. I am Harold the Herald. Wait, you are a Herald? Yep. And your name is Harold? That's me, Harold the Herald. Whoa. I work for Habakkuk. Oh, I've totally heard of Habakkuk, dude. Yeah, He's the power source. I'll oh. get it out right now. All right, go get it out. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That ain't Habakkuk. <laughs> I always forget, man. You must be on this side. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! I'm negative. How'd you do that? Oh, I didn't do that. That's the power of the Lord, man. Well, that right there is Nito Burrito. Whoa, hey, Harold, you're mentioned in here, dude. I am? Yeah, man, check this out. Then the Lord reply, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. That's me, Harold the Herald, and this here is them their tablets. Whoa. <laughs> well, far out, man. Hey, hey, what's on those? Oh, well, you see, uh, Habakkuk, he, he, he always was talking to God and stuff. He's my boss. Oh. And, and he was always talking to God. Oh, because he's like a prophet, right? Yeah, yeah, and he's also an Israelite. Him and me's both Jewish. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> and you see, at that time, well, a lot of the Israelite people, they wasn't behaving the way they're supposed to. And they wasn't listening to God or following Following him the right way, there's being wicked. Oh man, yeah. that's a total bomber, man. I know, right? So Habakkuk, see, he my he my boss, uh -huh. uh, and he was uh, always asking God. Listen to what he was asking God. How long, oh Lord, must I call for help and you do not listen? Ah, uh, so mm. did God send help? Well, sort of, kinda. Uh -huh. He sent Babylonians. Ah, oh, cool. Did, did they help you out? No, sir, Bob. They attacked us. What? Yeah, they was nasty and violent and more wicked than our own people was. Whoa, so, wait, why did God punish you guys with people that were more evil than your own people? You know, that's the same thing Habakkuk was always asking. Listen to what he asked God. Uh, oh, well, God told us to be patient, and he said, The Lord is in his holy temple. Oh, let all the earth be silent. Before him. 
on fire. Right, dude. We don't even have a barn. Oh. But that must have been God's warning. You're right. That's what Habakkuk wrote down. God gave us that warning, uh-huh. He told us that we should just sometimes just hush up and listen to him. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's always a good idea to listen when God speaks. So, wait, what did the Lord say? Well, God said that he was going to send the right punishment for the wrongdoers. Huh. And then God told us this. Uh, he told us what we ought to do in the meantime. God said... The righteous will live by faith. Ah, uh, dude, that's the choice. Well, you're right. That is some choice writing right there. Uh, no, I mean, that's the choice that God wants us to make. He wants the righteous to live by faith. Oh, and by righteous, you mean us and what they're following God and listening to him? I totally do. And by faith, I mean that we believe what God says, even when we can't see how or when it's going to happen. Well, you know what? That makes sense. Because what God wants from all of his people is for it's us to, to put, put his our trust, trust in him. him. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you can't see when the where the answer is in sight, you know? Mm. And look at here. Uh, God promises that if we wait, he will give us the answer. He called it a revelation. Wow. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, so we got to look for the promise. So okay. You get your well, I ain't never been underwater right, before, but I think I might be able to find right. some. Whoa, well, what is no, that? That's not well, there's some big fishies. Uh, there it is, man. Oh, look, you see here. Look, that's it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and not delay. <laughs> Whoa, what an excellent <laughs> promise. It'll totally be worth the wait. Yeah, but while we're waiting... I just feel like praising God. So let me praise you with some more words that Habakkuk wrote. Listen up to these. Though the fig tree does not bud, though there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and there is no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. Wow. <laughs> Habakkuk made the choice to rejoice. Yeah, that's right. And I got to get these tablets to the people like God told me to. He told oh. me to run with them. So I'm just going to run and run and run and run. <laughs> hey, which way is Jerusalem? Oh, well, dude, first, I got to get you back to your time. But, right, right, hey, right. I'd hate to see you travel on an empty stomach. You want to stay for dinner? Well, sure. What we having? Oh, I think my friend Handsome's going to cook up some barbecue. Oh, I'm never one to turn down a good old barbecue. <laughs> Where's the kitchen? Oh, that way, dude. All Here right, you go. Right. Well, hey, kids. <laughs> see ya. Remember, no matter where you are in time, God is good. All the time. See you, see you later, little dudes. Oh, baby, yeah. some